for the single arm clean, we're gonna take the concepts that we learned in the mid pull video and the hand assisted clean videos, string them together and remove the assisted hand. All right, so quick recap for the mid pull, you wanna make sure that you're combining an explosive single arm deadlift and a single arm row. You wanna make sure that you're exploding up the explosiveness is going to help carry the weight up, have some momentum, carry the weight up. It's called the float, all right? While the kettlebell is in the float, you're gonna pull it back. Make sure that you pull back far enough so that your hand is close to the side of your pec here. From there, you're gonna loosen your grip and you're gonna punch through, all right? So when you string it all together, it's gonna look something like this. <laughs> all right, and you're gonna end up in that rack position, a nice strong vertical forearm. Make sure you're uh, cranking that arm a little bit. All right, make sure that the handle's sitting in your hand at a 45 degree angle. All right, so once again, should look like that. If you struggle with your cleans, bruising your forearms, two things. One, that's perfectly normal because you are learning. So there's a little bit of a learning curve expected to be there. You're gonna have a little bit of bruising as you get used to it, as you just get used to the kettlebell sitting on your forearms just in general, because you're not used to having a weight on there. But the second thing is, if you're consistently bruising yourself, it's because more than likely, you are death gripping the kettlebell once you go to do the punch. All right, so when you do that, I'm gonna try and do it in slow motion, it's gonna end up looking like this. And it flops on your wrists. All right, the reason that happens is because it sticks in your hand as you go to punch and then it's vertical and then obviously because of the weight distribution of the kettlebell, it flops over. So that's why it's super important to have a loose grip. Once you get it to float and you pull it back, loosen your grip, punch through, and it should just very seamlessly spin in your hand, okay? Almost like it looks like a spiral. I know that when I do it, because I'm accustomed to it, it looks like I have my hands closed the whole time, but you don't need to have your hands closed. And what I mean by that is when I do this, I'm gonna pull back and leave my hand open and catch the kettlebell like this so you can see that you don't need to have your hands closed. All right, see? And then I catch it in that 45 degree angle. Now, when you see me do it, I literally do it just like this, I just do this. <laughs> I just happen to catch it like that. The reason I do that is because when you get more accustomed to doing continuous kettlebell cleans and you bring it straight down and go into another one, you wanna already have your hand kind of already there. You don't wanna keep like, you know what I mean? So it just flows a little bit easier, but you don't need to have your hand closed. So my whole point there is you don't need to death grip it because you don't really need to grip it at all once you get to the point where you need to punch. I hope that makes sense.